Thanks for your email, Cornell. Now, to answer your question, why is there a half in front of the inverse tan? Well, it's a little bit like this. First, you've got to uh, make a connection with the integral here. Well, this here is of the form, the general form of, of an inverse tan integral, okay? So it looks a bit like this. All right, so here, when you've got a on a squared plus x squared, then the integral of that is going to go the inverse tan of x on a plus c, okay? That's the general form. Now, that is on your formula sheet on the exam paper. So where does this half come from? Because there's no, you know, constant or half out the front here. Well, it all, uh, it appears all because of, ne we need an a number at the top here. Okay, so if the A is not there, if it's missing, okay, so if we had 1 over A squared plus X squared, you know, in something similar to this, here the DX is over here, but really we could put the DX over here and have um, 1 as a numerator, okay. So if that's the situation, then what are we doing? Well, before we integrate, we have to add it in. We have to add the A number in to the numerator, like so. And then, because we just can't introduce a number without changing our integrand, we, it needs to, needs to be balanced out. So then we, we're going to have to balance that A we introduced with a 1 over A, and we're going to put that out the front, like that. Okay? So this here is now um, the structure that our, our, um, our integral will take. And this now we'll give you the 1 on A there, okay? That will be the appearance in your, your general form. So let's have a look at the, that in the integral. All right, so here's the integral where we've got 1 over the x plus 1 squared plus 4. Integrate that with respect to x. So what have we done? We're going to introduce the 2, a number of 2, and balance it out with a half out the front. Okay, so because the general structure has an a squared in the denominator, where we have a 4 there, then 2 squared gives you 4 in that case. So your a number is going to be 2. All right, now, <clears throat> first off, before we go ahead and, and do any more, Let's uh, approach this from the method of substitution. So I can show you clearly um, what to do with this x plus 1 all squared, whereas in the general form, on the formula sheet, it's just x. Okay? So we use substitution. We let u is equal to x plus 1. And then we go ahead and work out du dx to get is equal to 1. And so du is equal to dx. Okay? Very good. Then we take that part, those parts, we take the u and we take the dx and we, we perform that substitution into it. And it gives us this as our new integral in terms of u. All right. Now this here as an integral is the exact same structure as the integral here that we have on our formula sheet. So it's the general form of our inverse tan integral. Okay. So... When we integrate that, we're going to get this half, that constant half that's out the front. There it is. So we've got half of tan, inverse tan of u on 2 plus c. Well, since u is equal to x plus 1, we can resubstitute that back in, and there it is. And we've got the answer to the, the problem. So I hope that makes sense, and you've learned a little bit something there. And uh, thank you. Well done. Keep the questions coming.